Hello and welcome to another video. This is um <laughs> it's actually quite light late at night so this one um might need a bit more fact checking. But um yeah. So um I wanna talk about TM nine which is which um is an extension of uh, many different uh meditation and routines and out of body and transdimensional conscious techniques but um it's tm9 stands for uh transdimensional uh, the, the transcendental meditation sorry and um the nine just means that there's nine different techniques that you can use there's actually more than nine now but um i'm gonna go through them i can go through with them with you now so um the most fundamental and basic uh, TM9 states is um, the hemisphere synchronization, brain to heart coherence, and um, transdimensional, uh, transcendental meditation. That's the main ones. And uh, there's also different levels. So TM9, so TM1, or T TM0 is standard consciousness, TM1 is the early stages, TM2, and so on. And so it, the nine can also be like a scalar system, but like you can scale it and a measurement system of how like it, uh, how how um, out of this dimension or out of this world you are. And um, and this does involve out body mechanics. It also involves transdimensional mechanics, and also um, beyond the speed of light and beyond the Planck's constant, okay, and uh, beyond the Planck constant according to a CIA document. Um, and this will be linked in the description below and so and now I'm gonna uh, that's a nice little segue into the so it derived from a CIA document called uh, the gateway method or the gateway experience and um, and essentially uh, it's this was um, the CIA were trying to they, I, I can't remember what it was, it was either Operation Pegasus, Operation Stargate, or Operation something. They were doing some shady shit, uh, psychic spies and stuff. This was around about the same time when they were using, uh, they were spying on Russia using remote viewing because Russia started spying on them and, and then it was like a, a psychic war. Anyway, um, that's not the topic of this video, but, um, so the CIA uh, looked into it and they just they they developed someone who works the CIA developed um, the gateway method and um, this this is basically a uh, tutorial on how to access transdimensional consciousness and like remote viewing and all this stuff um, if you want to learn more about remote viewing by the way I uh, indigo swan is um, is probably the is there indigo swan in something like that but I'll, I'll see if I can get his name and put it in the description there'll be a lot of resources in the description I'll even put like stuff that's like crazy powerful if you can if you, I'll put a lot of information in the description and if you can research and put it all together and then get a, a picture or perception on on, uh, on all of it then you'll realise how powerful and connected it all is but anyway um, so TM9, so the that's uh, the basic level of TM9. Um, so the gateway, uh, if you want to research this, you, you first need to read the gateway method. And uh, and, and I'll send, I'll get also the gateway tapes as well, which is the like the actual recordings to actually get into it easier. But that will it'll all be in the description. So, that, so the most basic uh, TM9 is, like I said, hemisphere synchronization, brain to heart coherence and transcendental meditation that's the most basic level so um to step it up a notch um i'm going to uh, i'm going to explain so you need neuromorphic behavior or um neural mirroring behavior basically if you watch someone else do it you'll be able to do it a lot easier so like for instance if you watch someone on tv and you feel happy when someone else gets a win even though you didn't win anything you feel like you you gain something you feel like you won because you're mirroring the neurons in the uh in the, on tv or whatever and um and then there's also a neuromorphic behavior which just means um very adaptive 
uh, neurochemistry. So, um, so stuff like um, adaptive, uh, being able to um, synaptically prune as well as synaptically um, strengthen areas in the body. Uh, in, the, in the mind, uh, also your heart. So brain, I don't want to keep saying so much there, but that's for later. And then there's also um, I've lost track. Um, so the, there's um, neurons in the heart. So there's an actual synaptics in the heart. Which, so now I'm talking about brain to heart coherence. And uh, so it's basically when the brain and the heart become synced in such a way that they essentially act as one system. And um, so your brain, your heart is a secondary brain, and based on, um, it, I, 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 I reckon it's the primary brain actually, because um, the uh, the heart is developed for the brain in, when you're in the womb, and so it's actually your brain is actually the secondary brain, and then this changes the uh, perspective of um, of the ancients. So the ancient Egyptians used to worship or they used to value the brain uh, the heart but not the brain and then there's also some other stuff like um i think uh, medieval times they valued the heart more than the brain which is interesting because we used to laugh at them thinking that like oh yeah they don't value the brain but they value the heart that doesn't make any sense but it turns out they were actually like they were right the the heart has got synaptics and it's got neurons in it so uh, what that means is if you ever feel lost scared or afraid you can always return to your heart and return to the um you can basically ask your heart for guidance so um the way i do this there might be more um advanced techniques uh, heartmaths.com is, is the way to go if you want to learn more about this but, um, and Dr. Joe Dispenza also knows a lot about this. Uh, once again, it'll all be in the description. So, um, the uh, how to access the guidance from your heart, and this isn't necessarily brain to heart coherence. Uh, this is just guidance from your heart. So, if you're like you've got anxiety, you've got, you're scared, fear, you um, you lost, like mentally lost, and then uh, so this is how I ask my heart for guidance. So I first ask, I think of a question. And then I, uh, I, I like ponder the question, and then I, uh, I slowly keep it in my mind, and then try and perceptually bring the thought from my brain to my heart. And I do actually perceptually visualize a 3D spot in my nervous system, in, in my spine, and move it down in the base of my head, uh, skull, and then move it down uh, from the pineal to the heart. Is what I do. But uh, you might have your own unique way of doing it, but this is just my way of doing it. I'm going on to the next part now. So, uh, hemisphere synchronization is um, when your left and right hemisphere work as one. So, a basic technique for this is to cross your arms and cross your legs, because uh, the left side of your body is controlled by the right side of your brain, and then, the, and then vice versa. So, um, so the, your left side is controlled by the right side, and your left side is controlled by the right side of your brain and, um, and so when you cross them over you're using there's a signal that goes through both parts of the brain uh, and it's a, there's a little bit in, in between your brain where um, they, they connect and um, and then uh, there used to be a technique for uh, split brain patients where you just slit that bit for uh, to get rid of um, to get rid of uh, seizures and um, and what it would do is it would cause a uh, um, the the two hemispheres of the brain would actually contradict each other. And, uh, and there's a video by uh, CG CGI Gray or something, and uh, on that. But uh, so there's also there's not so there's not just one fold symmetry. So it's not just left and right brain. That's the most common one. But there's there's three fold symmetry. Uh, and so. Uh, it's also the front and back of the brain sim, uh, sim, uh, synchronization and then top and bottom brain sim, uh, synchronization and so when you're in threefold sim, uh, symmetry uh, synchronization in the brain that's when you start to actually access and refine the key areas of the brain and um, I'm starting to run out of time now so I may speed up um, so uh, another thing that I wanted to mention on my, about my previous video is when I was talking about pl uh, artificially playing a piano in my mind, I was specifically uh, talking about 
playing certain chords in my mind to promote certain areas of the brain. So if I if I did something really good, I could reward myself by playing a happy note. But if I did something bad, I could play a bad note. And then this would be like a synaptic control via harmonics or by playing a, like a, a piano in my mind. And um, this is what I was trying to say, but I never actually said it, which is unfortunate. But uh, I just want to say that now. Um, yes, it's probably going to be a long, episode, long video. Um, and then transcendental meditation. So the, the key to transcendental meditation is um, is to basically make up a word in your head. If you can't make up a word, you can use the universal own. But it is better if you make it up, your own word up. And ideally use like a foreign language that you don't know and try and mimic it. And then repeat the word. Try not to have too many syllables. But, um, but if you can't do it, it is hard to make up a fresh word and then remember it. But um, I, I, the frequency of the word does actually matter as well. So you, you want to make sure it's got a, um, a decent frequency. And the best way to figure out that is to get a frequency calculator or frequency um, sensor device on an app that does it. And uh, and then make sure that the frequency is der derived by nine or a factor of nine. And you can do that but just by adding up all the numbers. And if you don't know, 369 is quite a powerful uh, philosophy Tesla. Um, is a set is apparently said to do this, but it's apparently he didn't say it or something like that. But there is a lot of um, powerful stuff uh, between three, six, and nine. But that's not that's for another video. And then, so the next thing I wanted to go on to is um, so that so that's the basics of uh, TM9. And now I'm going to go into the advanced TM9. The advanced TM9 is uses monotomically induced. Um, states so you use monatomic gold or uh, almost water or uh, magnetically trapped water and that that's, that's uh, you're gonna have to just research these terms uh, I'll try I'll put some links in the description of course but um, I'm just gonna have to go really fast and, uh, rather than explain every single word but uh, there's structured water there's um, there's uh, uh, monatomically uh, monatomic water or monotonic gold water which is magnetically trapped um, which is filtered from um, you don't have to buy it you can just filter it that way um, then the structured water and then there's, there's quite a few more hmm, I can't really think off the top of my head I think that's everything uh, then of course the yoga so uh, the Bahati Bihati and the ta Tiaraga Tiaraya uh, B H A B H A T K I and T A U R Y A. I probably, I've, I've definitely got both of them wrong, but um, these are advanced yoga techniques that I mentioned in my previous video. Um, but yeah, these are for accessing the Godhead and the um, accessing the. Uh, uh, perceptual awareness i'm gonna end it here because i don't want it to be too long but um but yeah this is uh yeah this is tm9 i've i've only really scratched the surface into it i haven't really explained what um what you can do with this but long story short you can essentially access altered dimensions and you can um you can access an all-knowing state but you don't you don't um you don't keep it it's like it's like you, you've got a book that has everything ever written on it, but you can only bring that one page of it back with you. And so you can't bring the whole book, but you can access this all known state. But I don't really want to, um, I don't want you to take my word for this. I'd rather you read the, uh, the CIA document, which will explain it all. And um, yeah, I'm going to end off here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. But um, yeah, good luck with your astral journeys and your lucid adventures. And um, yeah, oh yeah, also uh, you can do TM9 inside of a dream as well to uh, to access like the avatar state. And um, and I I have uh, you uh, bent all four elements in a dream in individually, uh, and uh, I've also been able to control time inside of a dream as well. Not using TM9 though. But you can do TM9 inside of a dream, which is very powerful. Um, it gets you in the uh, level three lucidity, which is when you like really start to like realize that you're actually a god within your own 
mind in your own virtual dimension this is like a virtual reality of your own subconscious design you're the architect of your own dimension but uh, i'm gonna end off here hope you enjoyed peace